Are you hearing? That's why you don't see the move of God's Spirit in a lot of places. And that's why you don't see deliverance in a lot of places. It's because He's not in it. I said amen. amen. Now if I was interested in tickling your ears, I would never preach like this. No. I wouldn't do it. But you know what? I believe God's looking for people that will preach the truth and be Holy Ghost filled and Holy Ghost led and Holy Ghost directed and have a message from God, have a power on the inside that we was going to talk about over here in Ephesians 3, the spirit of might. Glory to God. Inherit ability, capability, ability to perform anything of mighty works. The spirit of might that comes from the spirit of God. This is what the church is lacking. They've got often been sucking their thumbs and sucking their passes and sucking their bottles and in their diapers and dirty diapers on. And Lord, have mercy, it's the awfulest mess I've ever saw in my life. I said amen. Instead of getting in the good word of God, Holy Ghost filled, Holy Ghost led, Holy Ghost word. Where the devil cannot stay. Where God's church is built up. Yes. Where people become strong mm -hmm. in the Lord and in the power yes. of His might. Yes. And it's never told us to be strong in our power, but in His. So you start looking in the Word, you start seeing yourself. And when you close the book, don't forget what you saw. No. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Don't go off this week and forget who you are. You go to work this week, go as a child of God. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I can do anything through him that strengthens me. Go with that. Quit acting like the devil. Quit, quit acting like God's word's not so. And going and living and doing and doing everything that you think you want to do with no restraint. Are you hearing? I said, are you hearing? And start submitting to God. I said, start submitting to God. And say, Lord, what do you want from me? What do you want out of my life? What do you want? Well, I tell you what he don't want. He just he don't want you to go live in your own way, doing your own thing all week long, every week. He wants you to do what he wants you to do. He's got a plan for your life. And he will bless you in it. Praise God. He said, My word will be a light unto your path and a lamp unto your feet. He'll protect you and he'll keep you. Praise God. Praise God. You'll be under the shadow of the Almighty everywhere you go. And you'll be able to say that Jesus is Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. That, that God's angels has charge over me and they keep me. Because <clears throat> I'm dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. Glory to God. Well, if you don't know Jesus today, it's come around to this time again. Make Him Lord of your life. If you don't know Him, say, Lord, come in. Come into my life. How do I do it? Believe on Jesus. Believe on Him. Believe that God raised Him from the dead. 
and you shall be saved, the Bible says. So believe on him and be saved today. Receive Jesus as Lord of your life. Father, I pray for every person. I thank you for the precious word. Thank you for the Holy Ghost. Thank you for refreshing of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, glory to God. And receive today. Receive from the Spirit of God. Amen. Well, until next week, this has been God's word for today. I'm Kenneth Gross along with my wife, Brenda. Until next time.